This big mission in the future of space is a return to the moon and then beyond to Mars. And that was the focus of a big reveal at Johnson Space Center today. NASA's first class of astronaut candidates to graduate under the Artemis program. One of these men or women may be the next person to walk on the moon. An inspiring thought, especially since we just celebrated the 50th anniversary of the first moon landing. Channel 2's Bill Spencer live at Johnson Space Center tonight with more on the next generation of space explorers. Bill? <laughs> Dominic and Keith, it is pretty exciting when you consider one of these people may just be flying something like this to the moon or possibly even Mars. Either way, they are a very special group of people who beat out 18,000 other candidates to become this nation's next group of astronauts. Amidst a montage of powerful images and unforgettable moments in space, NASA introduced the first group of astronauts to graduate from the Artemis program. 13 men and women, all from wildly different backgrounds, who will make up the next generation of interplanetary explorers. You look at these 13 men and women, the, the, the newest class of astronauts, and we may well be looking at the next person who will serve on the International Space Station, or the next person, the next man, or the next woman who will set foot on the moon. Amongst this elite group is Sugar Land native Laurel O'Hara, who has her bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering and a master's in aeronautics. Her dreams of becoming an astronaut began at just eight years old. And in second grade, my class got to fly tomato plants on the space shuttle. It was just kind of always a part of my life. Now, after training in all aspects of space exploration, including how to spacewalk, these brand new astronauts say it's important they set a shining example for young people. And they are thrilled to have been able to graduate right here in Houston. This is where it all started, really. This is, uh, you know, Houston, uh, as, as they say, Houston was the first word spoken on the moon uh, back in 1969. You know, Houston, uh, the eagle has landed, and it is, it is the hub of all manned spaceflight. Now, of these 13 brand new astronauts, you have doctors, you have scientists, uh, you have engineers. Uh, two of them are from Canada, the other 11 right here from the United States. At the Johnson Space Center, Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Amazing.